Okay, guys, my learning target is I can determine solutions for problems involving the area or unknown sides of parallelograms where dimensions are positive rational numbers. So a parallelogram is a figure that has four sides. And the opposite sides are congruent or equal. Squares have four right angles. That means that their angles are 90 degrees and all sides are congruent. All sides are equal. And rectangles have four right angles and their opposite sides are congruent. So squares, all sides are congruent. I think I accidentally said opposite sides. And rectangles, the opposite sides are congruent. And then you also have um, parallelograms that would look like this. It's just called a parallelogram. And when you're finding the height of a parallelogram that looks like this, your height's going to look like this because your height needs to create a right angle. So you're going to have like a dotted line and then like some number right here. All right, when you find the area of a parallelogram, um, the area represents the amount of space the shape covers. To find the area of a parallelogram, you would multiply the base times the base times the height. And the height needs to make a 90 degree angle with the base. So the steps I always tell my students to do when they're solving these problems is write the formula. Substitute what you know. Because sometimes it may give you the area and you're looking for the base or you're looking for the height. And then solve. All right, let's do example number one. It says find the area using the formula area equals base times height. So area equals base times height. This is my height. This is my base. So I would do three times three. And this is going to be nine feet squared. All right, number two, find the area using the formula area equals base times height. This is the base. This is the height. So six times four. Be 24 feet squared. Okay, example number three. This time it says find the height of the parallelogram. And we're going to use the formula area equals base times height. I'm going to substitute what I know. The area in this case is 20.24 feet squared. The base is four. And then we don't know the height. It's unknown. And then I would solve this like a one-step equation. So my height is 5.06 feet.
All right, find the area using area equals base times height. This is my base, this is my height. I'm finding the area. So 2.5 times 2.5, this is different than 2.5 times two. So my area is 6.25 feet squared. <clears throat> All right, this one says to find the base. So I don't know the base. The base is X and my height is two and two thirds. My area is 13 and one third. So area equals base times height. I know that 13 and a third is the area. Don't know the base. The height is two and two thirds. I am going to convert these into improper fractions and then solve like a one step equation. So my base is five feet. All right, this is find the area using the area formula, area equals base times height. Don't know my area, my base is two and a half, my height is three. Answer is seven and one half feet squared. All right, number four, carpenters need to cover the living room with tile. The room is 12 feet by eight feet. How many square feet of tile do they need? So I'm gonna draw a picture. So area equals base times height. This is my base, this is my height. And that would be 96 feet squared. All right, number five, Abby needs to cut out fabric to make a pillow. It is a square pillow with a side of 10 inches. So I need to know that a square has all equal sides. So 10, 10, 10, 10. How many square inches does she need for one side of the pillow? So we're just, it's just asking how much fabric she needs for one side. So I don't need to... Pillows are 3D objects. It's not asking about the whole entire pillow. It's just asking about one side of the pillow. So I do area equals base times height. That would be 10 times 10. And that would be 100 centimeters. Uh, sorry, not centimeters. Inches squared. Big pillow.